Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Jessica Kirsch here. Going to wait a little bit and see if people start filtering in. Hello, hello. Welcome. Today's date is Monday, March 25th. Hey, Jessica Tetro, I see you there. There it goes. It's showing up on the screen. Uh, Monday, March 25th, 2024. Four. The time is currently 12, 11 p.m. in South Texas. Jess, I hope that your daughter's birthday was a great success. Beautiful cake. So excited about the Volkswagen bug that she got. Oh, what it, what it, how great would it be to be 16 again for like a day, right? Pardon while I finish my breakfast. What's up, Alan McKeith? And I see you there. This morning, there's an anticipated static fire of Ship 29. It's a little difficult to make out here at the launch site because it's it's hazy, but there is frost forming on the ship. The ship is towards the center of the screen. We are viewing from Kirsch Cam. Thank you for popping in, Jess. You're so sweet. Okay, it says I'm live. Let's see here. Open my video. Yay, 57 people. What's up, everybody? Oh, Jess, you're so sweet. If anybody can hear me anywhere, any anywhere in this galaxy, if you go yeah, if you go, y'all could please help me repost or reshare or what are the other ones? Share out a link to this stream. Uh, we are waiting on a possible Starship Ship 29 static fire from the suborbital pad here in Starbase, Texas. Uh, we are looking about 5.1 miles away from the launch site currently. It's a hazy day in between Kirsch Cam, which is the camera that we have the view of, and of uh, the launch site. So that's what you're seeing. It's not exactly clear. But we do get to see some, there's a bird. We do get to see the wildlife. We get to see boats coming in and out. Love you too, Jess. You're awesome. We have kind of a different take on things from this perspective coming from Port Isabel. Very grateful to have this camera there. Hello from the UK. What's up, Alan? I know, sorry, not Alan yet. Alan and Keith. Alan, I, Alan McKeith and Keith Alderson. Sometimes I confuse your last names. It's good to see you in the chat. How is the weather, excuse me, over in the UK? Did I not turn on the ability for them to comment on X? No, you were able to comment on X. I don't know how that works. Please help me repost. There we go. Post not sent. We're Eco Doge. Okay, let's see here. Why is it not allowing everybody? Never ever saw them. There's Jimbo. There's Trent. What's going on? We've got people coming in. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for joining. Yay. Is it showing up on screen is what I want to know. Oh, you sound, you sound, heard the sirens earlier. Okay, that means it's probably going to go soon. Sirens just means that uh, there's a police officer driving around in the village and they turn their sirens on. Woo, 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 woo. And it makes everybody who's in the village has to come out of their homes. What's up, Pete? What's up, Mike? Howdy, howdy. We're hoping for a Ship 29 static fire. 
I would not be able to hear the sirens from where I am, even if I am less than five miles away, like at the Rocket Ranch outpost, I still wouldn't be able to hear them. I don't um, have access to the village like other streams, but that's okay. So we are waiting for a ship 29 static fire. And it seems like it could happen any moment now, especially if they reported sirens. Thank you, Trent, for letting me know about the sirens. I think I see dolphins out there. Dolphins on Courage Cam. So we are moving right along down in Starbase. Um, let's see, Starship Integrated Flight Test 3 happened on, was it March 14th, Pi Day? Also uh, the 22nd anniversary, correct me if I'm wrong, Jess, 22nd anniversary of SpaceX. That took place. It was a great success, regardless of what mainstream media tells you. They're sending out a bunch of lies. It was a tremendous success. Um, so much was learned. We got to see re-entry. Um, we got to see actually see feeds thanks to Starlink coming down from the ship. We were able to see the re-entry of Starship into the atmosphere. We got to see how the heat shield tiles held up to the extreme heat and uh, were those pictures just absolutely gorgeous or what? Let's see if I can pull them up. Unfortunately on this feed we are not going to be able to hear a static fire. Um, I don't have a microphone at Kirschcam at this moment so my apologies. Um, I do have a bunch of other static fire videos not readily accessible to let you know what it sounds like, <clears throat> but it is pretty cool. Let's see. Maybe I do have one. Mm -hmm. I think I, I've been trying to offload things from my machine so that maybe it'll move a little bit faster. So it's unlikely. Let's see. It says it's only seven mile per hour wind gusts out of the West, but I tell you what, I just got a ginormous smack up against my trailer and my whole trailer shook, my computer, my T, everything. It hasn't done that in a long time. So I would say that there's, there's escalating wind gusts. Pete says there's frost line forming. You can see just a little bit of differentiation here between the top and the bottom of the starship. I'm not tired. I'm not tired. I'm wide awake. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much for that $2 super chat. Yes, we are watching for a static fire, a possible Ship 29 static fire. I don't know how many engines they're going to light, but of course we will find out after the, the test is finished. Elon will let us know on X. So I want to give a shout out to everybody that's watching right now on every platform that it's streaming to. Thank you so much for joining. There are a lot of options to watch this from, and I'm honored that you chose mine to stop by. So thanks. The temperature is currently 84 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see, it's hazy. Um, it is partly cloudy where I am in Brownsville. Desmond, if you're here, what's up? Okay, I want I don't wanna I'm I don't wanna retweet it, I wanna share it out. Share broadcast. What's up, Nate? I see you there. Hey hey. Hey Cosmic, I see you there too, and Rich Murray, Ross, hello. What's up, what's up? Alright. Waiting on a doo doo doo. Potential starship. 
ship. People get confused with starship and ship. Ship. 29, static fire. Let's go SpaceX, let's go. Let's go SpaceX, let's go. Oh, there's an echo. Thank you for letting me know. Gosh, Nate, thank you for letting me know, okay? Um, I don't hear it on my end, so let me see what it sounds like here. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Check, check. Oh my god. Gosh, thanks, Nate. Those are the things that I don't catch. Let's see. Let's try that. Check, 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 check. Check, check. Echo still, okay. Okay. Let's try that. Check, 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 check. <laughs> These echoes. Uh, uh. Sama the only, what's up? How about now? Check, check, check. Mic check, mic check. Midsection venting. No echo. Okay, so what I did is I turned off my loop back. Streamlabs to X. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Nate, for saying something. Oh, that would have been so cringe to listen back, listen back to. Thank you, Desmond. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, uh, Gary Atano? Okay. Every single time I have some sort of audio silliness. Anyways. Let me turn this down. It is really helpful. If y'all hear something, let me know. What am I using laptop on Windows? I'm using my iMac on Streamlabs. Oh, you can definitely see a frost line forming here. You probably can't see my cursor. However, let's see if I can put an arrow. So the frost line is forming, meaning that the cryogenic fluid, the cryogenic fuel propellant is filling enough. They don't fill it totally full. Obviously, well, the top section is the payload, but they don't fill it all the way up for these kinds of tests. Just enough to light the engines for enough time to, to check them. What's up, Mike? Uh, la, 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 la. Where's an arrow? Can I do an arrow? You can see. You can see. You can see. Uh, by the time I find the arrow, it's going to have static fired. Midsection venting. So um, when I woke up this morning, I got on spaces and then all of a sudden I saw a Boca Chica Road is now closed text message come into my phone and so I said hmm I wonder what they're testing and I opened up Kirschcam, could barely see the launch site zoomed in and noticed that there was some frost forming so I double checked for where a overpressure notice and um, I think there was one could this just be a spin or a spin prime have they already spin primed this Hey, Moomdeen Bruce. You think the solar flare is effing up your internet? You got eight inches of snow coming tonight. Power was out for almost 24 hours. Oh my God. Irma Gersh, Jessica Kirsch, Moom Doom. I'm so sorry. I hope that it comes back to you, but I think it's only going to get worse in the coming days. Um, the solar flares are, are getting more and more intense. Um, the whole grid that's going to be knocked out, they're going to blame it on the solar flares, but whatever. 
Uh, la 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 la. Hi, Andy Campbell. I see you there. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Strangers in the night. La da da di da. La da 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 da. <laughs> La da da di da. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do. <laughs> It's really hard to tell. It's really hard to give a play-by-play -play here when I can't actually see the frost forming and such. So my apologies. Uh, Andy, I could be a bit low. My apologies. I don't have that sock in my mouth like this. Thank you for letting me know. Um, so I have my microphone sitting on a game box. Frost sign gone, is it? Oh, I hope not. It may have just been a spin prime. That's what I was going to check. Oh. Okay. Mary posted an overpressure notice. March 25th, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Approximately 10 minutes prior to activity, you will be received, you will hear, you will be provided notice by sounding police sirens in the village. There may be more than one instance. Cool. It still might just be a spin prime, though. Oh, maybe it has been time. Wah, wah. Spin Prime is not visible to the eye unless you have a camera. I mean, to our eyes on this camera. What's up, Nick Level? I see there. Spin Prime is basically they they fuel it and then they they turn it on. Or they they are testing the igniters and I'm going like this because I don't know exactly what the igniters are. I'm just thinking about my propane tanks, my propane tanks in order to ignite them. I have to like, you know, and then it goes like that. I don't know how it is on rocket engines, but this very well may have just been a spin prime test, which is pretty typical to do before a static fire, but they, technically should have enough fuel at the propellants like at the suborbital pad and the orbital pad in order to just you know let the frost come down and then they could do a full fueling and do a static fire since they have till 8 p.m but i don't know they usually like to do it in two separate days just to make sure just to read the data i do not believe that they've done a spin prime on this yet i could be wrong but I don't think they have. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, y'all. Hi, Tommy. I see you there. Hold on one second. I'm going to have to turn the air conditioning on because it's hot. It's getting hot in here. What are you doing? Mighty.
I have a second account, Matthew? Uh, I have a Kirschcam account, but I'm not on it right now. I'm just on my, my Jessica underscore Kirsch on X. Yeah, okay. Marzi, did I wake you up? I'm sorry. Hi, Joey. Hi, Joey. There you go, Marzi. Ooh. Thank you. Hi, Chuck. Mike, are you playing with your, are you playing with your mouse? What are you doing? Are you playing with your mouse? <laughs> Sorry for the excess air conditioning noise. It's hot. <laughs> it's real hot in my trailer. Yeah, I do see the frost line going down. It's going down, down. is tossing it around. He's tossing his, his mouse around. Mice, get your mouse. Oh, hello. Mice. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, the frost line is going down. Boo. Venting, I see venting from the, the front hole. Oops. Okay, so this just in, we have a road closure in place from today, uh, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Tomorrow, the 26th, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and 27th, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. If it does, in fact, static fire, and they need, they will go ahead and just revoke or cancel the other, the other closures unless they roll out a booster and do a static fire in one of those or spin prime. Beep. What's that, mice? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Mice. Sorry, I'm looking for a specific tool.
attic. Why is there static? All right, all right, all right. Now we watch Starship Trials. Do youngsters know like they are? I know, right, Andy? Gosh, I keep yachting. Thank you, Nate, for hanging out. How you been? Good morning, Denmark 39. Good to see you here in the chat. What's up, buddies? What are you doing, bud? Mars, come here. Here's a tail. I don't know if that's spam or not. Seven tails creating havoc there. Seven. Oh my goodness. Seven kitties. Ma Moonbeam Bruce says beep boop bop beep. Beep boop bop beep boop. Beep boop. Do I see venting at, at the tower? Oh, it's getting frosty, y'all. You see the frost? Right. Down here. It's getting frosty, y'all. Dun 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 dun. The frost is reappearing. Is there anybody out there? Mars is getting crazy. Oh, there's a dolphin to the right. Did y'all see the dolphin? Just to the right in the front here. It's hard to catch them, but they come up real quickly. I probably wouldn't have been able to see it if it weren't on my big screen over here, my big screen TV. Hey, Aaron, how you doing? Good to see you in the chat. Hey, hey, hey. We are, thank you for joining us. We are waiting on a possible ship 29 static fire. Oh, Andy, I'm sending sunshine your way. I hope that the, the winter's grays, they go away soon. Show us the dolphin, show us the dolphin, show us the dolphin.
So this land that we're looking at in the foreground, I heard is for sale for like $10 million or $20 million. Anybody in the market for it? I'd love to buy it. <laughs> I found a piece of property in Brownsville that's in a flood zone, it has no utilities, it doesn't even have a road to get to it. And it's been sitting on the market for a thousand and seven days at the time that I talked to the realtor. I've talked to many realtors about it. One realtor told me, don't do it, that's dumb. And I said, thank you for your time. The next one said, sure, I'll write up an offer. And what I did is I said, I have $5,000 cash, they're asking, 32,500 for it's seven acres, but it's uninhabitable. Like there's no utility. There's nothing. I would just be completely off grid. There's another one that's $65,000 and that has gone up from 30, $32,000, like within the last two months. And that one is like 13 acres. But even if it's not habitable now, I see venting coming from the bottom of the ship, not on this stream, but on, on another stream. Um, it, I eventually I'd be able to build something there to be able to watch SpaceX launches right so I reached out to the realtor and he I said I'd like to offer $5,000 cash and he took me I thought he was taking me seriously and the next day I reached out and I said hey did you get that offer written up and he said you know I saw the, the seller at an event and they said somebody came in and offered 55000 cash and I was like ah, ha 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 and he's like, do you want me to look for something else for you? And I was like, no, thanks. I think I'll find another realtor. Thanks. And that was it. So SpaceX starts everything at $5,000 cash. So why can't I? <laughs> That's not what I wanted to prioritize money for, obviously, but it was worth a shot, you know? I did order my computer. My new computer is coming on between April 3rd and April 5th. So thank you so much, everybody. No Easter plans for me, Artex. No Easter plans for me. I'm going to hang out and chill. Ooh, it's getting more hazy. Did y'all just see that haze whip in? Baby, I'm crazy. What are you doing, Marzi? Oh, you want to play? Come here. High five. Good buddy. Good buddy. Mars, bring it back. He looks like he's smoking a cigarette when he has the thing in his mouth. I tried. I mean, it's been sitting on the market for so long, the land literally doesn't have a road that goes to it. I reached out to a realtor like eight months ago on this property, same property, because it's just right up the road. It's not on a road, but it's in a, a wet, like a wetland area. Yes, I have looked for less acreage land around here. Even 0.11 acres is going for like $300,000 right now. Yeah. Investors are coming in and just scooping everything up. All I want is a place I can park my RV and not have to keep paying rent to this place, you know? The water and the wastewater and uh, electricity, I'll figure that out. I'll figure it out. What's up, Tucker Carlson Parody? You're not too late. Welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, non-binary, um, and all other groups, welcome to the main event. Yeah, everything has shot up in price. It's crazy. Um, but anyways, I, I went out, uh, Jimmy Z, who was helping me fix parts of my RV trailer the other day on a stream. Good buddy, Mars. He and I drove out to this pro where we thought the property was. It actually was a little bit further. Um, the road was r the road. It's, it's just a mud. It's a mud pass. Um, I would need a four-wheel drive vehicle. And um, 
yeah, we went out there and I was like, yeah, this is exactly what I'm looking for, you know? Like, I, I, I've been driving by the, pro the, the road for a year and I'm like, yep, feels right. So I just need a, a buyer that will understand my situation. Maybe they'll own her finance. I found out who the buyer is on the GIS records. Um, I'm not even sure that they're still alive. Uh, I thought I, I did find the obituary, so I don't know how that works. A lot of the land around here is owned by the United States, the United States of America. It shows like it literally. I, I'm looking at, looking at the GIS records. It's either owned by the Brownsville Navigation District, the United States of America. Um, there's a lot of investment companies that are buying up land, which is really frustrating for people like me who just want like a small parcel, but just how it goes. Hi, Rare46, good to see you. Yes, rent is going up too, and that's another thing. I was like, you know, the prices that things are right now, like would it be cheaper just to rent? And then I just, I remembered I have no credit score because I don't do debt anymore, and I don't have a steady income each month, so I wouldn't be able to rent an apartment. <laughs> Very frustrating. I know that everybody under, I know that people in this market understand. Sam's Cola. Anywho, back to Starship. Engine chill. Such a fun word, engine chill. I think I'm crazy. Meow. 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 I've fed you twice today already, Mars. That's more than I'm supposed to feed you in the day. I know you're just bored. Where's your, where's your toy? Where's your toy? Okay, I see venting. I don't know what exactly what they're doing. Oh, I have to do my taxes soon. <laughs> 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 Uh, Hubbin, Hubbin the North, is this my webcam? Yes, it is. This is, uh, this is called Kirschcam. Right now it's not super clear because it's hazy, but we see lots of fun things on here. Nick Lovell, um, who's in the United Kingdom, has remote access to the camera and he, he moves it around for me when he's able to, he works all the time. But he'll show us different um, wildlife species. He'll, he'll show us boats, the, the port of Brownsville. We get to see all kinds of fun things when Nick con controls the camera. Last night, I think we were looking at South Pottery Island um, in the bay. It was really cool. Meow. Mars. Come on. What? I'm just gonna pull this down here. Oh, oh. Yeah, Mars. Okay, I don't know when it's going to static fire. Hopefully we don't miss it, but I just want to show people that aren't familiar with the area real quick. This is a photo taken by SpaceX. Uh, this is looking, uh, drones are not allowed by the way. So their drone took this picture. Um, Jessica Tetro, Marla and I are actually in this photo, but they Photoshopped us out, but they, or they Photoshopped out like the people 
but Jessica's um, Model S Plaid is still parked at the end of the launch site, so we know that we were there. We were at the beach that day. This is what it looks like from, obviously, up high on the ocean, the Gulf of Mexico. We're looking at the, the launch site. And this is a full stack. And this was taken, I think it was, a, it says December 22nd, 2023, but that very well could be the date that it was edited. So this was, this is not an up-to-date photo, but if you look at the launch, see the launch tower, it, do, it doesn't have a ship or a booster on it right now. Um, and then in the background of this photo, you'll see Crane X with, I think, Ship 26 on it. And instead of Ship 26 and Crane X, right now we're looking at Ship 29. And let me just get this off screen for you. Locks tanks appear 30% full, says Mike. No frost and methane tanks. Hmm. What's up, buddies? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Go get a toy. It's like, Mama, I'm bored. Where's your toy, Mike? Go get your toy. Want to look out? Hold on, folks. Good. Oh, we have venting coming out of. Normally, when it comes out the side like that, that's a um, depressurization. But that very well. I think we're, we're. I think we're headed into static fire, y'all. It looks. It looks pretty frosty. Frosty, the starship. We're getting close, we're getting close. Engine chill at 12.42 p.m. Okay, we're at 12.54 p.m. right now. Let's go, let's go, L-E-T-S-G-O, let's go. Here we go. How many engines do we think they're going to static fire, y'all? Let's guess. How many engines do we think are going to static fire today? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, cool, Nick. There was a huge ship leaving Brownsville a few days ago. Dolphins were jumping out of the water very high in front of it. Saved it for video of future 4K edit. Yeah! Nick level for the win! Woo, woo, woo! What's up, buddy? What's up, my buddy? Have a kiss? He's like, don't touch me. Okay, touch me. Don't touch me. Okay, touch me. Don't touch me. Feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord. Been waiting for this moment for all my life. Oh Lord. But I'm but I'm but I'm bum bum bum. Sorry for the laugh. Lots of venting happening. Everybody could hit that thumbs up button or hit the heart button. If y'all are watching, depending on their platform. It should be available in 1080p at 60 frames per second. The great blue heron was on the camera the other day with a snake wrapped around its, its beak and he ate it. Oh, oh my gosh. Jessica Kirsch, that's nutsy. Those are the things only in Brownsville. 
A snake? What? Wow. Looks like Ross is coming down, maybe? I don't know what in the heck they are doing. Mice, they're mice, they're mice. They're mice, they're mice, what? What do you want? No bite, no bite, no bite. No bite, no bite, no bite. Good buddy, no bite, no bite, Mars. Okay. No bite, no bite, no bite. Good buddy, you can lick, no bite. Good buddy. No bite? No bite? Looks like half of the frost is coming down. It looks like half of the frost is coming down on Starship. So I don't know exactly what's going on. They do have all day long watching for Siren. Har Harvey Y says six. They think it, Harvey thinks that they're gonna light six engines. Why are you so bitey? Why are you so bitey? You just wanna play? You just wanna play? You just wanna play? Oh, oh, you're so bitey. You're so bitey. Why are you so bitey? Why are you so bitey? No bites. No bites. Good buddy. No bites. Good buddy. I would be biting too. Somebody help me like that. So bitey. <laughs> Mars bites. Yeah, he he. <laughs> Don't bite. Here he comes again. Here he comes again for another round of biting. No bites. No bites. What do you have to say for yourself, Mars? Meow? Meow. He's like, Mom, I'm not having this right now. I just want to play. Mike. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Go get your toy. Go get your toy. Go get your toy. I don't know where his toy went. <laughs> Waiting on a potential static fire. Get it, Mars. Meow. 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 He's looking. Where'd it go, buddy? Where'd it go? I'm gonna find his toy. Be right back. Where's your toy? Here. High five. Good buddy. High five. High five. You gotta drop it though. High five. Good buddy. Okay, I'll be right back.
Is it safe? Oh. Groceries delivered. Bye, Nick. See you. Oh. Happy to have the groceries delivered. The ability to afford them. Very grateful. Let's go static, bye, let's go ship, let's go. Siren is what they're saying. They're saying siren on another stream. So soon, hopefully soon. Who's excited? Weather for Isabel, thank you. Over a thousand watching. All right, oh, thanks, Eco Doge. They, I think they just watch, or they take total views, but I'll take it. Now Mars has a king of his castle. 84 degrees Fahrenheit, wind is blowing, 10 miles per hour, 16 kilometers per hour, 65% humidity. Siren, siren. All right, we're gonna see a big orange plume. Well, we'll see the, maybe we'll see the diluge. Do they diluge this? We'll just see a quick orange plume and then it'll, and then it'll dissipate. And then the test will be done. Remember y'all when this used to take all day, all night? Happy birthday, Bold N3. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bold N3. Happy birthday to you. There's a boat. Boat, 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 boat. And he's excited. So am I. Travis Radford is here. What's going on, Travis? Thanks for stopping by, my friend. Harding you. Thank you. Y'all should follow him. He is in the community as well. He's a live streamer and holds a show. I think, right? Siren. Fire those raptors. Let's go. This is ship 29, everybody. Ship 29. So booster 10 and ship 28 just launched in uh, Starship Integrated Flight Test 3. This is ship 29. We are looking l at a live view about 5.1 miles away um, from Kirschcam, which is stationed in Port Isabel overlooking the launch site. So we are zoomed in about 5.1 miles away and we have a different view. Here comes Mars again. Oh, it's venting out of the top. That's cool. I wish we got those views. Oh, Starlink is buffering. It, this is powered by Starlink and is not sponsored. I do pay each month $150 to broadcast with this dish for this particular stream. Oh, it went out of focus. I wonder why. It's in, oh, it's coming back. There it is, okay. Ooh. Let's go Starship, let's go. Let's go Starship, let's go. Hello Andre. Oh, I see the venting out of the top of the ship. Oh my gosh, Jessica Kirsch, I haven't seen that before, at least to the best, to the best of my knowledge. Who sees the venting? It's very tiny at the top of the ship. Tesla Tino's here, what's up Tesla Tino? Tesla Tino is the lovely, lovely person who came down with Tesla Tina, his lovely wife, and they took me for a ride in their cyber truck, and I even got to drive it. Uh, Nick Lovell made a really cool edit um, of that day, and yeah, what's up, sis? What's up? Hey, sis, what's up, brother? He has been posting all sorts of videos and photos of their time in Moab with the cyber truck, and they did all kinds of off roading, so. You should definitely take a look at his X. Take a look at his YouTube. Um, it, it is offered in 
English and in Spanish. Thanks for joining. Any moment now. Fire that ship, fire that ship. I have my concentration face on. Thank you. Once again, there will be no audio besides me probably yelling a little bit. So please turn your volume down right now. That's what I call a headphone alert if you're wearing headphones. The cyber truck was amazing and he they backed it up to my camper to show what it would look like if it were pulling I wanted to see what it would, would look like in comparison to my camper and it would just it would pull it great it would be great I was so grateful what a great day that was what are you doing Mars I can't tell if those are birds or if it's just low tide or what's going on in the foreground there. Waves, maybe? King of the waters. You're stuck there at the dumb office wishing you were still on the road. Deslatino, we're going to get you full-time, full-time vlogging. I saw your um, trailer, and it was awesome. Keep doing those edits. It was so good. It was so good. Keep posting. You're going to get there. Anna, um, Anna, Anna Hira, hello from Austin. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, are we getting close to the next Starship flight soon? Uh, Tesla Latino, you know, I, I have no idea. A lot of people are guessing it's going to be May the 4th. Like May the 4th, you know, May the 4th. May the force be with you. Um, that's also Little X's birthday. But um, this is a good sign that they're static firing this ship. Uh, once they roll the booster out, they'll do a spin prime and then a static fire and probably roll it back, do some engine work, and then roll it back out, and maybe have to static fire it again, and then we will start seeing the full stacks. Um, the first full stacks, to the best of my knowledge, are just fit checks, so they're checking to see the fit between the hot staging ring, the booster, and the ship. Um, so they'll, they'll test it, and they'll you know, put it up, bring it down, put it up, bring it down, fight, fight, fight. I also think it's just a, an, an exercise of using the chopsticks and it's getting faster and faster every time. So to answer your question, I don't know. I think so, but I, I don't know. It'll be soon. Um, I've heard he, Elon wants to do at least six Starship launches this year. Imminent firing, says Tom B. Let's go. L E T S G O. Let's go. Mars's tail is in my face. Mars, are you excited for Mars? Are you excited to go? Oh, there it is. Mars, Mars, Mars. Look, 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 look. There it is. There it is. Yay. Woo woo. Static fire. That was lit, says Harvey Y. I didn't want to scare Mars, so I didn't yell too loudly. Woo woo. Mars is he's biting my arms that are waving in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. Woo woo! That was lit legit. What do you think, Mars? That was real quick, real quick, real quick. 
I wish I could rewind it somehow and do a quick replay. What do you think? That was it. That was it. Thanks, Mike. Fire at 1312. I wonder how many engines that was and for how long it was. We will find out on X. What a ding dong. William Keller. Are you talking about me? Thank you. Uh, woo, 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 woo. Now they're going to be offloading. Hello from Hen Hengelo, the Netherlands. Officially and or official and lit. Thanks. Thank you, Travis, for joining. Thank you, Tommy. Thanks, everybody, so much for joining. Um, I'm assuming that they're going to be offloading now. Are there nine engines on this? They already... Oh, only three center engines is what some people are saying. I wonder if they'll go for more. Yeah, thanks for joining, Godoge. Whoop, there it is. Happy birthday to you, Bold. Let's zoom out. Let's get a full perspective here. Now that we have that, I'm going to move the camera around a little bit. Upside down and inside out, and showing it, and that was all about. Taking it back to the old school, to the old school. Who's so cool? Won't there it is? Won't there it is? I think those are birds. All right, let's go to the port, shall we? Camera will get a little crooked on screen here. Just roll with it if you can. I think this alien right there is new. I think that's definitely a new alien. You'll see it here shortly. Once again, this property is for sale for like $10 million, I think. See the alien? You'll see it here shortly. There it is. Yeah. Gotta love it. Creepy alien. We're coming up on the build site. There is the Star Factory. Let me zoom out. Star Factory, we have High Bay, Mega Bay 2, Mega Bay 1 is covered right now. There's the inventory tent, and then we have three ships in the Rocket Garden. You'll see it shortly once Starlink comes back. Go she, let's go see what boats are over here. See that dock is empty. I thought a big boat just came in. Oh. Oh, they're dredging back here. Okay. Channel maintenance dredging. We are looking at the port of Brownsville right now. One of the ports. I don't know where the big boat went. There's some tugs. Uh, if you see those cranes in the background, you'll see them here shortly once it moves. Those cranes are actually the LNG project, the uh, Rio Grande Valley LNG, RGV L LNG. I think those are birds.
I don't know where the big boat went. It must have gone in the other port entrance. Woo, build site. Certainly is a lot more clear now, isn't it? Look how shallow that water is out there. You can see that bird. I think that's a bird. He's just standing in the in the ocean out there. You know what? That might be a buoy. Never mind. Kind of looks like a bird, though. Beautiful on the Gulf today. And look at all those birds. Just chilling. Just quacking away. Back home, Nick. Welcome back. Everything's looking really green right now. Okay, and here we are back at the launch site. I'm going to leave it there, and Nick is free to do as he chooses. I want to thank everybody so much for joining today. Uh, the date is Monday, March 25th, 2024. The time is currently 1.20 p.m. Texas time. I don't know if it's Central Standard or Central Daylight, so I'm just going to say Texas time now. Uh, my name is Jessica Kirsch. Thank you so much for watching. This is Kirsch Cam, the view we are watching, and then I'm broadcasting from my trailer. That's my cat, Mars. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. Thank you so much to Michael Maxey for that $2 super chat, and to anybody that sent over donations on PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, buy me a coffee, Ko-Fi, and my Patreon supporters, channel members as well. Um, X subscribers, what else? And friends, family, everybody. Uh, you can see the venting coming off of the suborbital pad right now. I'm assuming that the ship is going to detank. So, Uh, yeah, I'm not going to hang around and keep y'all's attention. Thank you so much. Summertime starts on the 31st of March in the UK and Europe. All right. Illegal fishers. Of that. Nice. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm yawning. Okay. All right. I'm going to sign off. I love you all so much, and I'll see you on the next live stream. Mwah. 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 Thanks for your support. See you next time. Bye, everybody.